Organizing the body of the speech. This presentation includes important information about organization, main points, supporting materials, and connectives. Let's speak about the importance of organization. Listeners can follow the progression of ideas in a speech from beginning to end. This requires that speeches should be organized strategically. They should be put together in particular ways to achieve particular results with particular audiences. Using a clear, specific method of speech organization can boost your confidence as a speaker and improve your ability to deliver a message fluently. The first step in developing a strong sense of speech organization is to gain command of the three basic parts of a speech, introduction, body, and conclusion, and the strategic role of each. Now, let's consider what main points mean. Main points are the major points developed in the body of a speech. Most speeches contain from two to five main points. The main points are the central features of your speech. You should select them carefully. This slide is about number of main points. You will not have time in your classroom speeches to develop more than four or five main points, and most speeches will contain only two or three. If you have too many main points, the audience will have trouble sorting them out. If when you list your main points, you find that you have too many, you may be able to condense them into categories. You should know about strategic order of main points. Once you establish your main points, you need to decide the order in which you will present them. Chronological order is a method of speech organization in which the main points follow a time pattern. They may narrate a series of events in the sequence in which they happened. So, chronological order is also used in speeches explaining a process or demonstrating how to do something. For example, your specific purpose is to inform the audience of the steps in laser-assisted corrective eye surgery. You can use such main points. First, a thin layer is sliced off the surface of the eye to expose the cornea. Second, an ultraviolet laser is used to reshape the cornea. Third, the thin layer sliced off at the beginning of the surgery is reaffixed to the eye. Spatial order is another way to present your main points. Speeches arranged in spatial order follow a directional pattern. That is, the main points proceed from top to bottom, left to right, front to back, inside to outside, east to west, or some other route. Let's move to causal order. Speeches arranged in causal order organize main points so as to show a cause-effect relationship. When you put your speech in causal order, you have two main points, one dealing with the causes of an event the other dealing with its effects. Also, you can use problem-solution order. Speeches arranged in problem-solution order are divided into two main parts. The first shows the existence and seriousness of a problem. The second presents a workable solution to the problem. In this slide you can see some information about topical order. Topical order results when you divide the speech topic into subtopics, each of which becomes a main point in the speech. Let's consider some tips for preparing main points. Firstly, keep main points separate. Secondly, try to use the same pattern of wording for main points. Thirdly, balance the amount of time devoted to main points. As you know, listeners need supporting materials to accept what a speaker says. Supporting materials is the material used to support a speaker's ideas. The three major kinds of supporting materials are examples, statistics, and testimony. Okay, now let's talk about connectives words. Connective is a word or phrase that connects the ideas of a speech and indicates the relationship between them. Without connectives, a speech is disjointed and uncoordinated. Four types of speech connectives are transitions, internal previews, internal summaries, and signposts. So, first type of speech connectives is transitions. Transitions are words or phrases that indicate when a speaker has just completed one thought and is moving on to another. Technically, the transitions state both the idea the speaker is leaving and the idea she or he is coming up to. For example, I have spoken so far of bravery and patriotism, but it is the sacrifice of the Massachusetts 54th that has etched them into the pages of history.
Internal preview is a statement in the body of the speech that lets the audience know what the speaker is going to discuss next. They are more detailed and transitions. In effect, an internal preview works just like the preview statement in a speech introduction, except that it comes in the body of the speech usually as the speaker is starting to discuss a main point. Internal summaries is a statement in the body of the speech that summarizes the speaker's preceding point or points. Rather than letting listeners know what is coming up next, internal summaries remind listeners of what they have just heard. For example, let's pause for a moment to summarize what we have found so far. First, we have seen that America's criminal justice system is less effective and it should be in deterring crime. Finally, the last connectives are signposts. Signposts are very brief statements that indicate exactly where you are in the speech. Frequently they are just numbers. In this slide you can see some signposts. For example, the first cause, the second cause, the final cause. Another way to accomplish the same thing is to introduce your main points with a question. So just how serious is the problem of mail order fraud? Is it just a few isolated cases, or is it widespread enough to require serious measures to protect consumers? Another way to accomplish the same thing is to introduce your main points with a question. So, let's summarize the whole information. Clear organization is vital to speak making. A well-organized speech will enhance your credibility and make it easier for the audience to understand your message. The process of planning the body of a speech begins when you determine the main points. Because listeners cannot keep track of a multitude of main points, most speeches should contain no more than two to five. You can organize main points in chronological, causal, topical, problem-solution order. Supporting materials are the backup ideas for your main points. When organizing supporting materials, make sure they are directly relevant to the main points they are supposed to support. Connectives help tie a speech together. The four major types of speech connectives are transitions, internal previews, internal summaries, and signposts. Using them effectively will make your speeches more unified and coherent. Here, you can see the sources.